Good morning, I'm Philip Rice. This time last year we were beginning to get uh, reports of a new virus coming out of China. Little did we know that uh, what that was going to mean for all our lives. Even as we went into lockdown back in March, we couldn't have imagined that here in 2021 uh, we'd be even worse off than we were then with hospitals worried about whether they're going to be able to cope with the number of people needing their help. These certainly are dark times and we continue to look for an end to this pandemic, hoping that it's going to be uh, this year that we can get back to normal as we roll out the various vaccines. Sadly, there are a lot of people who were in dark times even before the pandemic. And for them, the situations become, of course, a whole lot worse. They don't want things to go back to how they were before the pandemic. They want them to be better. Before the pandemic, the world was a pretty dismal place for so many people. So I don't want it to go back uh, to how it was for them. Uh, I, I also would like to be like it to be so much better. If only we could become the world as God would like it to be. That's the world we as Christians should be trying to build now. God's kingdom here on earth. We already know how to do that because Jesus set out his priorities at the start of his earthly ministry by quoting from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He set me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. So, as we begin this new year, I want to talk to you about how we as Christians can be good news to the poor. Poverty is a dismal place for anyone to be. Yet I read somewhere recently that there's enough money in the world so that everyone in the world could be a millionaire. Christians Against Poverty, or CAP as it's often referred to, CAP is a charity set up specifically to help those who are having a hard time. In response to that call from Jesus, their mission is simply to be the hands and feet of Jesus and to bring the good news and practical help to all those people going through dark times. I've long been concerned that I wasn't doing enough to address the issue of poverty, despite it being our responsibility as disciples of Jesus. And so last year he opened up an opportunity for me to get more involved through CAP and to help people in debt, because debt is the number one cause of poverty in this country. CAP debt centres help thousands of people and every year over 2,500 people uh, become debt free because CAP volunteers work alongside them. We help them to get to, to sort out all their paperwork so that CAP head office can work out a budget and a debt management plan as they begin their journey to being debt free. We also offer to pray with them and we share the good news of Jesus with them, the greatest gift that we can share with anyone. CAP's services are completely free and, and they're available for people of all religions and none, regardless of age, race, sexual orientation, disability, gender reassignment and gender. The CAP debt service is unique in that it offers its clients personal help someone to be alongside them, to help them, to journey with them and to celebrate with them when they become debt free. So I've completed my training as a debt coach and I'm now working with CAPS Northampton Debt Centre to extend their services to the north of the county. But I can't do it on my own, I need your help. That's why I wanted to talk to you today and I want to take this opportunity to appeal to you to think and pray about ways that you might be able to help. There are many ways you can do this. I'm going to go through some of them in a minute. Uh, and there's also a link 
to watch another video uh, which will give you uh, a more of an insight into the work and the benefits of CAP debt centres and also their job clubs and fresh start clubs. Please do have a look at that and pray about the work of CAP. Which brings me to the first of the ways you can specifically help. Number one is prayer. Please do pray about the work of CAP, about what I'm doing and about the people who need the help of CAP. Beyond that, I would like to uh, build a team of prayers, people who will pray for me and for my clients when I have a meeting with them or an appointment with them. People that I know are praying while I'm in that appointment with the, uh, with the client, whether that's a face-to-face -face meeting or over the telephone, which is what we're limited to at the moment. Number two, uh, money. Please donate to CAP. In order to provide this service free to clients, Christians Against Poverty is a charity entirely funded by individual Christians and by churches. If you'd like to make a one-off or regular donation, please go to their website, which is capuk.org. It's really simple, capuk, or one word, .org, where you'll find more information about CAP and an opportunity to donate. As I work with the Northampton Debt Centre to extend services into this part of the county, it would be good in due course uh, to get funding direct from churches uh, here in the north uh, with a view to extending and eventually having our own debt centre. Number three, befrienders. Befrienders uh, accompany the debt coach uh, when they visit a client. And even while we're doing it over the telephone, it's good to have a befriender on the call at the same time. The reason we have befrienders is partly to do with safety. Obviously, I don't want to go into the home of a female client on my own. I would take a female befriender with me. But beyond that, befrienders also offer additional help from time to time. Just taking them for a cup of coffee and having a chat over, uh, uh, over a cup of coffee, doing a bit of shopping, keeping in touch, inviting them to church praying with them. Befrienders often become friends. If you think that's something you would uh, like to do or would just like more information, do please give me a call, get in touch and I'll tell you a bit more about it. And there are lots of training resources available if you want to become a befriender. Finally, last but not least, if you know someone who's struggling with debt, please help them by giving them the CAP free phone telephone number. It's 0800 328 0006. 0800 328 0006. Doesn't matter how bad their situation appears to be, CAP will be able to help them. I began with those words quoted by Jesus from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Actually, Isaiah has a lot more than that to say about poverty, and in particular, I would urge you to look at chapter 58. Here's a few verses uh, beginning in verse nine. If, if you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourself on behalf of the hungry and satisfied the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You'll be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. So let's build God's kingdom on earth together. Let's build the world how God wants it to be. We are Christians and we are against poverty. God bless you.